Yep, it's the name of the game right now. We're trying to find some bait. We want to load up real nice so we can get some hell of it. Here with the old buddy, old pal, Carl. Right. Today's goal is halibut. We're gonna be live drifting some, hopefully some sardines if we can find them. We're looking at really good conditions. Wind is probably gonna be in the six mile an hour zone. Looking at two foot swells. Pretty nice conditions. And it's, and it's fishy. Very Smell fishy. That? There. You could taste it. Mm, anchovies. <laughs> Jumbo. Carl found the mother load of good the anchovies, load. man. Yeah. The chovy load. They're rolling right here. Yeah, man. Our bait tank's looking good. We're gonna be able to go soon. I think we're uh, about ready. I don't know if we can fit that much more. Let's go get some halibut. What do you think? Halibut, halibut. <laughs> hey, last, last load right here. Look, look at this, just filling up on these gorgeous sized anchovies. I was just telling Carl, man, if there was a salmon season, they wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, they're out here too. We might have to make some tray bait, but we'd have to hold on to it for a while. All right, before we start getting fishing, a little quiz for you guys. We'll let you know the answer at the end. So Carl and I have known each other for a long time now. And did we A, meet in school? Did we B, work together at Red Lobster? Or C, meet while we were fishing on the pier? We'll give you the answer at the end. But in the meantime, brother, let's get some flatties. Yep. So there's the pool noodle full of pre-tied rigs, just ready to roll. And of course, I will leave a link in the description on how to tie these leaders. All right, that's what the bait looks like. See ya, bud. All the way down for you. Cool thing about this Komodo is it has a clicker. This is 300 size. This is my old school Okuma Guide Select. I think I got it in like 2011. This thing's uh, held up pretty nice. So we'll back off the drag. Set that clicker and let her bounce. Got a three ounce weight on that and then I have a six ounce weight on that and we'll do the same thing and wait till we get bit. Oh, I'm bit, I'm bit. Oh, something with it. You probably don't want to let them chew for as long on the chubby. I know, I know, I was just putting my other one down. Yep, not even five minutes, got a fish on, uh, a rockfish maybe, he's making the right yeah. actions, cabbie. oh it's a cabbie, oh, nope, cabbie. not today bud, it's a beautiful one, beautiful cabbie, not today, so if we kept this guy, then we can only rock one rod each. And that's not what we're trying to do today. I was just pulling up because we were going to reposition, but this fish was right up against some rocks. Aiden anchovy, it's a big one. See him? Oh yeah. That'll, that'll keep. Oh my God. Oh. Hell yeah, dude. My bad. That's a good one. Oh, it's in the boat. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Yeah. Irish. Wow, look at that thing. Solid fish. I just heard another clicker. But yeah, guys. I don't know. We'll see. It's like 30 something. That's a freaking thick butt too. Thick. Shoo! Carl was saying we we're doing it the hard way. Get your bait first, then, uh, you know, do the rest. It pays off. 
And if you guys saw the last episode with me and my dad doing the same thing, I actually got a net this time. Way less stress on the fish in the live well and no wet sleeves. I'm getting bit by something on the um, hookup baits. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's up? Can you hold me out, dude? What happened? I just need a hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit, don't do that, baby. Oh. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're halfway to our goal before yeah. we run offshore. <laughs> hey Ed, can you help me out for a sec real quick? Hands me the gaff. All right. Okay. Mr. Carl got a butt. Well, Carl, two butts on deck so far? Two. Two. Need a couple more. And some of the best rockfish. Freaking got that really nice freaking cap is on. See, we're, we're saying no to these guys today. We're not keeping these guys. I mean, it'd be cool to keep him. Look how big he is. He's a chunk. Giant cab. Ah, oh, it's a nice cab. Hi. Oh, yeah. So, again, the reason we're releasing that is because if we have a rockfish on board, we can't fish multiple rods like we are right now. Ah. All right, show us what you got. Put her on there and you put this on in here and give her a little kiss. And that's it, I reckon. <laughs> let me see, let me see, let me see. <laughs> yeah. All right. yeah, this is the zone. This is right where you uh -oh. caught the last one. You got whack. Right, where did you say that? Smelt. This is on the smelt. Really? Yep. That was a pretty good hard hit. Yep, he's on. Yep. Oh yeah. Ah uh, no. Rock cloud. Yeah, it's rock. Rock cloud city. Need a smell. Yeah. I got one of those smells too. God, I love this guide select. I need to pick up another one. Yeah, you like that? Last round. Seriously, it is a bass rod. Throwing rockfish back all day long. Not all day. I mean, you know, a reasonable amount Half of time of the day. <laughs> Half day long. It is. We're just drifting over where he caught that last one. Oh, it feels very solid. Feels very solid. He says. He says it feels very solid. Oh, maybe on the line too. That's okay. Nice and easy. Oh no no don't do that, baby. <laughs> so come on up here. 
We just want to talk to you. Slide this over. Oh, oh. Yeah. In between these two. Oh. So you not even mess with that here. Yeah, I just want to come out over this one too. Yeah! Woo! That's a good one, dude. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Let me go fix my other rod. On the lazy man rig. Dude, that's a nice fish, bro. Yeah. That's a nice fish. That one might be uh, tied or bigger than yours. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Might have you. Yeah. Let me just put him out of his misery. Oh. Night night. Welcome aboard. Flatty, bro. Well, what are your thoughts? I'm a very happy boy today. I got to get out in the sun and get some fresh air and bring a little food home. Oh. Very, very happy. Thank you, Edward. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. All right, we got a cooler right there with a couple butts. Carl's got his butts. What is that? Four? So we measured them. Uh, both of them were actually. 32, both the big ones were 32 inches. We got a 27 and a 25. Solid day of drifting. And uh, Carl's definitely a trooper. He, how much sleep did you get yesterday? Two good hours. Two good hours, not yeah. just two hours, two good hours. What do you think, well, summarize it, how was today? We, uh, we came, we saw, and I think we conquered. I, I mean, not much else to say, we, we made bait, um, we brought it to somewhere where the fish were hungry and capitalized. Yeah, how satisfying was that? Pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. Yeah. It was a, it was a nice little little taste of the boat too. Oh yeah, first, yeah, yeah. First run around. What'd yeah. you think? Pretty awesome. Handles like a like a dream. Lots of room. You did yeah, good. Man. You did yes. good. Proud of you. 18 foot with a lot of space. Carl is actually a big reason uh, that boat is. Uh, is mine just after you're talking about like just how stable a catamaran is and how much room and how easy it is to tow because you guys i have a ridge line it's a v6 so i can't do like a 20 footer i can't do like something super heavy so yeah that 18 footer um catamaran is just perfect it's like 3,000 pounds so man that's that's epic and then uh it got really windy at the end. Uh, Carl had a good feeling because he, he dives and uh, he knew this zone. <laughs> you. Do it, baby. Yeah, bud. Illegal in freaking shallow. Uh, in like super skinny water and he suggested that we should uh, go check that out and well, we ended up getting almost a triple yeah so he hooked up then i hooked up and that's where that last 25 and what we we even said we want four halibut today yeah that was a goal so yeah it's always nice to to accomplish what you set out to do yeah it's nice it's nice to when a plan comes together but we found those good chovies we were able to get bait twice. We just fished really, really, really effective today. We really made some good drifts. Uh, we caught those rockfish, but I mean, other than that, was there anything that you know stood out to you about today? No, man, pretty perfect day. <laughs> yeah. Can't complain, can't wait to do it again. Oh, oh, last thing, last thing. Yes, the answer, the answer to our ABC question earlier, how did I, I meet Carl, is uh, we did both work at Red Lobster together. <laughs> 
Yeah, man. <laughs> Back in the day. <laughs> Back in the day. Uh, Wild. That was when I bass fished a lot. Carl was chasing sea bass and doing what I believe are dream come true or like, you know, dream bucket list things uh, back in that day. It's I used to be in your ear back then trying to yeah, get he's like, to the salt. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, dude? Edward, what are you doing bass fishing so much? This was probably like 2009, 2000, yeah, yeah around yeah, that, that time. So man, I uh, just take that as a, I guess, um, like as a lesson, definitely uh, listen to your friends. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm blessed to have a friend like Carl, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, man. You guys keep uh, good friends, keep good company, and uh, hope you guys have epic days like Carl and I just did. And if you guys enjoyed this and you guys enjoyed uh, that whole idea of drifting for bait and you know being part of the food chain that way, I'm gonna leave a video right here uh, where my dad and I uh, did the same exact thing with a little bit different results. We actually started rock fishing, then we ended up with those butts. But Carl, thank you, brother. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Yeah. Woo!